guys, uh, my name is Denis Kulikov and today I will provide you some more information about cap tricking, about cap tricks and about how to choose cap for your cap tricking. So, uh, but anyway, first of all, follow my Instagram. I don't know if it's going to be here or here or here or here. So you just <laughs> find somewhere it's going to be like my Instagram, follow me. So, um, uh, on a previous lesson we were talking about musicality. So, uh, first of all, let's repeat this. Uh, when uh, you do a cap trick and as a part of dance, it's very important to follow the music. And as for me, uh, the most important thing is follow the beat. So, when you when you listen to the beat, you should follow them. Uh, so, element like, like clap, clap. Uh, so, if you do some uh, throwing of your cap, ha cap so you should catch it catch it on a beat or you could do it, everything on a beat so when you like do these uh, elements like i don't know for example you bump everything should be on a beat uh, yes you could work with a little parts of uh, music like uh, i don't know snares or something uh, it depends so you could do everything where you want because uh, there are no rules but anyways for me beat is like more obvious thing and um, when you do cap tricking, uh, a lot of your attention on your trick because you want to do it correctly. And um, also when you just start to work, all your attention on a cap uh, uh, on a trick. So beat uh, is uh, the more predictable and the most uh, obvious thing in a music. So it's uh, kind of easy to work with them. But anyway, you could do everything where you want. <laughs> So, and uh, next one, uh, next one thing uh, which I want to raise today is how to choose a cap for your cap tricking. So, because uh, there are a lot of types of caps. So, for example, we have caps like this. And obviously, you could do cap tricking uh, with uh, these types uh, of cap too. But some caps uh, are, how to say, more useful uh, or like, with those types of caps, it's more easy to work. So, uh, when you are uh, trying to choose cap for cap trickings, you should understand. First of all, it doesn't matter which types of caps to, do you use. It depends on your skills. So, you could start from one uh, cap, but when you understand how does it everything work, and you will be uh, confident in your hand skills, so, you could do everything with uh, lots type of caps, so it's plenty types of caps, so it doesn't matter. But uh, when you just start to work, uh, it is very important uh, to choose a cap uh, for start. It's like more easy cap. And also, when you do a performance, uh, it's better to choose some types of caps. So, first of all, this part of cap, uh, it should be like this, like this. It's not like really straight, it's a little, li uh, little like this, little like this, but uh, uh, it's not like this. Remember, uh, this part of cap should be like this. Uh, so second one, uh, this is uh, this part of a hat, of a cap, so it should be hard. So. You know, we have a lot of uh, caps like this, uh, where this parts are very soft, and it's not because uh, this cap are bad or old or anything like this. It's just because uh, they use material are uh, very soft here. So I know that some guys, uh, for example, if they like uh, caps like this, um, they try to do this material more harder by their own. So, for example, they. Uh, take water and salt or water and stretch they mix it and then uh, all of this like stuff they put here here like like this like. and then after this is dried out uh, so uh, cap became in a very like hard in this part so why do you need uh, this part a harder so when you do some elements like this bam 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 uh, you work with this part uh, for example like this when you do like uh, one and then this uh, you also work with this part 
or when you do for example some spinning uh, or it can be spinning in like on this place so anywhere so also you could do like uh, a lot of spinning here here uh, you work with this part and it should be like really hard okay so uh, that is not mean that uh, you couldn't use this one for spinning uh, it depends on your skills but it's better to practice uh, while you have no enough skills with a head uh, where this part are uh, hard and also a lot of elements uh, like this when you work for example bum bum or bum bum something like this so I don't know if you seen that so like for example you work here like bum or so or from here bum so you work every time with, uh, with this part and uh, if this part not hard enough it's gonna be like a little challenging to work with this um, also uh, when this part not hard enough you could have this situation like this and for example when you do this element there's something gonna be happens yeah uh, bum. so why it happens because um, the center of weight uh, going in another direction uh, when we work with this, it's possible, but it's harder. <gasps> so, rule number two, this part. Rule number one, rule number two. Uh, okay, uh, rule number three. So, this is part. Um, I know that uh, some guys um, try to do this part more harder. Uh, by next method so they take a carton I think or like hard paper and they put it here like put, you could open and they put it here like this line from here to here uh, why do they uh, use this because uh, when they do elements like this or elements like this yeah so um, they try to do uh, this area of uh, cap more harder. Oh, also about uh, previous uh, part here, uh, some guys too, uh, when they try to do it harder, put a carton or hard paper. So this like the way. But as for me, it's better to choose uh, the good cap in the same moment and don't try to reach to change it. So. Mm. This is not so important because um, honestly, a lot of caps already have uh, very hard borders here and it's enough to do some elements. So for example, uh, if we take this cap, this uh, already good borders and I could do this or I could do this. Um, so uh, I don't need a uh, any carton or something like this I just could do it it's very easy uh, but anyway uh, some guys try to change it so when you choose the cap uh, look here yeah try to understand is it hard enough or not hard enough so it's okay or not okay uh, so the next one uh, important thing uh, it is he here <laughs> uh, it is uh, this part so uh, a lot of uh, dancers like to use uh, like baseball caps uh, in those types of caps uh, this area like uh, from one material so they have no this space uh, and it's comfortable to do like uh, all of these elements when they do pam 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 like and uh, all of uh, this tricking but anyway I think uh, also you could use this part if you need to do these elements uh, you can work here uh, so for me uh, these types of caps like snapback is uh, more comfortable why because uh, anytime you could change uh, size for example you do some elements where do you need like harder part here like something like this so you could do this like little one and uh, because of this here you have hard part and here hard part 
and your hard parts are like bigger. And uh, if, for example, you start to do elements uh, where you need big size, like this, because uh, uh, it's more easier to put a cap on your head if a uh, square here bigger. <clears throat> so uh, that's why, as for me, this thing uh, is uh, more convenient, <laughs> is more appropriated. Um, also, never, never use this one. It's not comfortable at all. Uh, this like my all. Oh, this one, so don't use it. Uh, as for me, it's uh, it's okay to use baseball caps or snapbacks, but uh, I like more snapbacks. Also, why? Because uh, you could open it and uh, like put it uh, on your um, how's the belt uh, on your pants, and if you do like double elements, like. Uh, uh, elements with two or three caps, so you could uh, keep your uh, uh, caps uh, here. And for example, if you need, you just take one. Uh, you have second one, and you like work with the two caps or do something like this, yeah. And uh, then you could keep your cap here, so uh, you don't need like backpack or something to your prop, so it's just near you. So. You just could like do one cap inside another, yeah, like this, and keep it uh, on your uh, on your pants. So it's like the most easier way. So um, uh, let's let's repeat. First one, second one, third one, and the last one. So. Um, it is uh, a lot of things uh, which uh, people try to check while they uh, buy their uh, cap for cap tricking. But anyway, you should understand. So the most important thing, it is your skills. So when your skills uh, became uh, on the next level, it's not important what kind of cap to use. But on the first time, when you just started to learn, it is uh, very important uh, when you try to find uh, caps which more, how to say, more comfortable to your first steps. So that's why uh, my suggestion, uh, when you want to choose your cap, just follow my uh, four rules. So there is one, two, three, and four. Uh, and also, as I think, uh, you should have uh, at least five or six caps. Uh, why? Because, for example, some caps uh, you will be used uh, when you just practice, and those caps uh, became like bad, old. They they're gonna be dirty. Sometimes uh, you will be broke their caps. Because, for example, uh, this part gonna be breaked. Uh, this part gonna be breaked. Um, so. Uh, that's why you should uh, have like extra caps and also you should have a caps for performance So those types of cats caps should be like in ideal state so uh, Every time in, in ideal condition. So uh, every time you should uh, use on the performance uh, your best caps and also uh, before performance you should try your current elements on these type of types of caps because uh, sometimes caps has a different caps have a different uh, the center of uh, weight, so you should check everything about it. Yeah, so by following these uh, easier steps, you could choose the best your cap for your cap tricking.